Today on our 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, we're going to install the Decontra Prodigy P2 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90885. We're also going to be using the Tecancha plug-in wiring adapter. That part number is 3016. Here's what the P2 is going to look like when you get it installed in your vehicle. And this is a proportional braking system, so this is going to take the inertia from your vehicle and translate that into braking power using the accelerometer located inside. So in very quick and abrupt stops, we're really trying to stop quickly, this is going to go right up to our maximum power rapidly and deliver that braking to us when we need it in an emergency. When we're in city streets and just slowly on and off the brakes, just trying to maintain speed, this is going to do it much more gradually, reducing the heat buildup in our brakes and also only using what we need at that time. The C here, it's going to indicate that we've got a trailer connected. So if you see a DC come up, that means you've got a disconnect situation. It's got an onboard diagnostics. It's going to monitor the trailer and let us know if we have any failures. We have a boost one, two, and three setting. This is an aggressiveness setting. So if we've got it on the higher setting, we should have a really, really heavy trailer, maybe even at a heavier than what the truck is. We go to that high setting. That's going to give us very quick and very immediate response from our brakes. If we go to the lower side of that, it's going to be a much smoother and less aggressive sort of braking application. The blue dial that you see here on the side, this is going to allow us to adjust our gain. As you can see currently, we've got it set to zero, so that would give us no power going to the rear. If we turn our knob all the way the other way, we go right up to 11. That's going to be the amount of brake output that's going to our trailer, and that's going to be adjustable anywhere along that stretch as you go down and we can adjust that according to our trailer weight again. There's a manual override lever here on the bottom. This is going to allow us to manually apply the brakes to our trailer without operating our foot pedal here. The nice thing about that, whether you've got it set all the way down maybe at four and we get on it really quick, it's only going to go to four. If we move that all the way up, we can incrementally adjust how much power we're sending there to the rear brakes all the way up to our maximum setting in this case which is 11. Now you've got the standard U-shaped bracket that we've used here today or also an additional bracket if you plan on moving this in or out and using it in multiple vehicles which will allow for a quick release. All the screws and hardware that you'll need to install it is going to be included. Now to begin our installation we're going to pull down this black cover. This is going to cover up with some wiring that's in there behind it. It uses two pull-out tabs here to lock it, and then it's got one just like this on the inside. You can't really see it from where you're at, but I'm just going to take a little hook in there. We get right behind that tab, and I'm just going to pull out slightly. It's not a hard thing to do. Once you have it pulled out, just kind of hold out on that. Then all we'll have to do is release our lower tab there and our upper tab, and that cover is just going to come right off, right out and down. And we're going to go into our plug right here. Now we'll bring the white end of our plug. You can see the one side's got the little tab there, kind of like the push release. That should go towards the driver's side. Bring that up and in. These two tabs slide in. You can see it right there. There's a little ridge there, and then there's another one down there you can't see. Slide that in. Give it a good push from the back side. There we go. You'll hear it click in there. That's perfect. Now, we're going to take this black end, we're going to go right up over this wiring here, just like that, and then I'm going to tuck it right up over that blue clamp. You'll see that it's going to run right through that little area there, it'll come out over the top, and then we'll have great access to it once we get our cover back on. Then we'll bring that right back over. Just click it right back into place, nice and easy. Our pigtail's out right here where we can get to it and plug in our controller. Now it's time to get our bracket mounted in place. We've got good range around the dash here we can use. There's a good adjustability range in the angle in which we can mount the P2. We're going to come right down here to this screw. I'm going to mount this right underneath the dashboard here. It's going to be a perfect location for it. High enough to stay away from the brake pedal, but we won't have to drill any extra holes here to get that mounted in location. We'll just pull that screw out right underneath the dash. We're going to slide our bracket in right behind that. 
and then bring our screw right back up and through. Now let's grab our brake controller. We're gonna slide our pigtail right into the back of that. Push, pull, make sure it's in there gauged fully. And then we're gonna have a couple of machine head screws, little short machine head screws like this that we'll use to secure our brake controller right up here to our dash. I'm gonna to try to use the top set of holes first. If I don't have enough room, we can come down to that second. All right, now our excess is coiled up above there nicely. We can tuck it back, really nothing we'll need to do there. And as you can see, our controller's functioning the way we want it to down here. And that's gonna take care of the installation of the DeContra Prodigy P2 trailer brake controller, part number 90885. Also using the DeContra plug-in wiring adapter, part number 3016, on our 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.